off the Ziggy we saw earlier back on to his Maverick to start off the set. Flasher, of course, sticking with the Wally as always as we head into game one on Jules Vale. I think this matchup of Maverick versus Wally is going to be an interesting one, mainly because the way Wally plays and the way Maverick plays, it's always just two big bodies trying to go for the big hits and combos that they like. And as we've seen, Flasher has been very consistent trying to go for combos they like. Um, but also, Tandy's just very consistent on multiple characters. So based off of neutral alone, I'm kind of excited to see how this match is going to go. <gasps> Saving themselves with a NATO! <laughs> Yeah, working out for him there to try to get back on, but Flasher is just trying to be relentless right now, looking for so many grabs. Tandy able to find his way back onto stage, though. Push Flasher off stage. Flasher able to reversal the situation, though, to get on stage. Oh Nato God. not quite going to kill with the explosion that time. Next one just might do it. The Giant Punch not quite going to do it. That's a big boy, Wally. You got to rack on a bit more damage if you want to get the kill. Upstrong whiffing a couple times there for Flasher. Surely would have killed had it landed, but it's all right. The forward tilt is there once again for Flasher. Swat and Tendi off stage with the slap. That was too long of an upstrong charge, but luckily the NATO did save them for a lot of situations. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that Flasher's still going for a lot of these risky options when it comes to like middle F tilts in neutral. Because it did work against Scrub, so it might just be like, you know, that's the mindset that we're still going for. But you have to keep in mind, when you fight a new opponent, Tandy is someone who doesn't really fall for that type of stuff as much. And it has been known to just tech chase very well against characters that, like Wally with Maverick. Yeah, we'll have to see if it keeps working out for him the way it, he wants it to. Uh, Tendi able to get a lot of damage on this second stock of Flashers right now. He's able to barely make it back on the stage, but yeah, that that's going to do it. Able to get the cargo, gets the explosion when he got the uh, status effect on you there and you get thrown into the NATO, you get exploded and you die for it. I don't see enough Maverick to see what percentage is to be scared of, but man, that must suck when you're like, oh, hey, I found a way out. And then Monkey goes, no, grab. <laughs> yep, just grabs him and sends him right where he wants him. Flasher trying to find fight his way back, but Tendi's doing a great job at not letting Flasher find any uh, chance to take the stock right now. Another oh, no. NATO setup. Forward air not quite going to land there. Would have killed had it landed, surely. And Flasher has an edge guard opportunity for himself now. But the side platform coming in clutch for Tendi at just the right time to get back on the stage. We'll see. Both players are so close to dying here. We're at very high percents on both sides. Giant Punch will actually take it. I thought Flasher might be living that for a second there. And Tendi takes it with a two stock on game one flasher counter picking to spirit tree though we'll have to see how it works out for him as we head into game two we have seen everyone's favorite counter pick beast here tree i was kind of surprised last night because in my head i'm like oh well you know what flash to come back from this you know put a lot of pressure but i didn't realize that was their last stock where they were just couldn't get a, a grab or couldn't get something confirmed and it, it showed where flasher was like trying to find a really strong option but just couldn't get anything where they probably should just kept center stage a little bit more and even right now, we see a lot of scrambling between both the players, but Tendi, really good parry coming and taking advantage, showing what they can do in the situation, doing a good 30% flash. Flash trying to find a way to get something nice, dash attack, a good continuation. Flash, oh, nice grab off the down air. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, gets the setup. I'm not quite sure if it's a true setup, but it's definitely a setup that you can get if they're not ready for it. But Tendi gets the forward air spike and Flasher's not going to be ready for that one, but swats him off stage with the up air, able to even up the stock count very quickly is Flasher and the forward air juggles are coming in. Looks for the command grab, but Tendi scouts it out, able to get his own combo started now, but Flasher wakes up with the command grab this time time able to fight his way back and it's a lot of back and forth right now between these players a lot of work coming in right now where flash not giving tendy a chance to come in using a lot of electricity to try to get grabs reset hold corner nice grab right there the nato saving them tendy nice parry coming in oh here we go we're gonna walk it off oh yeah giant punch not gonna do it but 
gets the NATO setup. Explosion not quite gonna do it either. Is privy to the up B setup. Gets the DI he needs to not get killed by the up special off the top and is able to actually sneak back on and get the back air out just in time to reversal the edge guard. Able to move up two stocks to one now but still has to be careful here and yep the back air into the nato the status effect gets the explosion and tandy evens up the stock count very quickly gets his combo started gets a lot of momentum going we'll have combo's to not see done yet. combo started combo's going it's not done 90 percent already tandy still hasn't been hit on the stock nice up coming in tandy slowly just trying to get back to center stage flash Holding corner, trying to cheese it. Tandy coming right back with an upbeat. Good use of the NATO. Repositioning. It's just become a big scramble because it shows like Tandy's hyper consistent on the character. Like, you just feel comfortable in them. And they're like, you know what? I can get this on you any day of the week. You're a big body. This is my game. Uh, I'm going to do NATO. Oh my god. The punch. Just holding it down. If they get pushed into that NATO, it's all over. And Flash knows it. And yep. Just, just didn't respect it. Yeah, Tandy caught Flasher flinch in there, just waits for the parry and up airs him into the NATO, gets the kill, able to clutch out that situation. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, for game three, there was an Alt F4. Please don't do that in brackets, y'all. Um, but we do actually have a clip of at least part of game three. So we will be able to at least show you that. So we'll get into that here in just a moment. A good minute. Apologies about the delay, y'all, but this is what happens when Alt F4s happen. But getting into it, we've got the clip pulled up, and it looks like Spirit Tree was the uh, pick once again. So we'll see how it plays out here. Looks like we're coming into the clip at two stocks to two. Okay, so this might just be more towards the end, then. Yeah, it looks like we're about a minute and a half into the game. Get, yeah, getting into it though. Ooh, Tendi forward till go. maybe got a kill. Maybe. Oh, Flash we can see. We can see it, Jez. All right, getting into it. Oh, nice looks like this forward till will kill and tendy will be moving up two stocks to one here Ooh, flasher gets the parry and even though it's a jab check just goes for the command grab and gets it anyways and that was a bit of a funky interaction there the nato actually ends up being the one to send flasher back to stage though even though it looked like the forward strong had hit mm -hmm. afterwards no, exactly. We do see that Flash is trying to slowly pick it back up, trying to put a lot of pressure slowly on Tendi. Uh, hopefully they can keep the pressure and try to reset it, but we'll see what happens. <gasps> oh, not gonna be able to slip back onto stage though, but the forward air, the command grab, it's there. And oh no! Yeah. Yeah, and that is it. Tendi is able to take it uh, 3-0 over Flasher in the end uh, with the Maverick to boot. Didn't even need to try to swap over to the Ziggy at any point in time. Just uh, making it work with the Maverick in that case. And he'll yeah. move on to fight Kuro Asagi in Loser's Finals.